Like Jolly B chicken in the gravy straight dripping. Young top shelf bottle rep aside, just sipping. Hey, no time for hoes, but I kick it with some women. They know that I'm committed, so I only put the tip in. Made it out the basement, shout out to Big Ticker. Yeah. Paycheck to paycheck, but now I'm six figures. Seven. Stay hydrated by drinking mad liquor. And everybody knows that Tim is that guy. Find me at Katana eating with your baby mama. She ain't never heard of Kurt, but her shirt say Nirvana. What? Spitting like a llama in the backseat of my Honda. She ain't cute, but in my mind, she look kinda like Rihanna. Sheesh. What's up, y'all? Today's vlog is brought to you by First Person. Now, I'm gonna tell you about First Person and why it's dope, okay? Now, after witnessing their parents and grandparents going through Alzheimer's, these two brothers, Chris and Joe, were determined to take their brain health into their own hands, okay? After researching for 25 years and experimenting, they created First Person, which is an innovative, precision, targeted cognitive supplement system which uses the brain-boosting medicinal benefits of mushrooms to activate the full potential of human cognition and brain health, all right? These supplements, made with functional mushrooms, aim to stimulate the body's natural production of specific neurotransmitters that trigger activities like energy, mood, and sleep. Now, you know your boy's been sleepy lately with the baby, so I started drinking coffee, but I don't always like drinking coffee coffee to get my shit going, right? First person uses 100% grain-free organic mushrooms and premium natural ingredients. Now, I'm down for the natural. I just started using first person, and look, your boy is alert. Your boy is focused. So these sunbeam tablets are, you know, supposed to really help increase productivity, and your boy needs to be productive. You know, now that we got this baby running around, it's kind of, it's, it's difficult to get things done, all right? They also have golden hour, which is to help you feel a sense of joy, connection, and relaxed presence. And they also got moonlight, which you can take before you want to slip into deep, restorative sleep. So if y'all want to try it out, go to getfirstperson.com and use code Tim Chia to save 50% off your first order. Again, go to the link in my description for 15% off your first order. And just so you know, these statements have not been even evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Thank you for watching. Check it out if you want. Enjoy the vlog. Vlog warning. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, look, it's a beautiful motherfucking day in Los Angeles, California. Just got doing a podcast with, oh my, hold on, let me get this. Look who it is. Wow. Shannon Boudram. And look who she has as her second guest. Wow. David. So. You little silly boy. Wow. Wow. Well, you guys look great. Wow. I need this. Oh, the little new little baby looks great. I know. Oh, and your little new little baby looks great. I know. Great. <laughs> just, just, just right here. Well, just right here. Just in this corner. Me and, uh, me and Boudram, we just got done. So, uh, and coincidentally, David's popping up for the next episode. And you didn't know it. I had no idea. You know what I realized I did? That um, women often do and they should not do. Mm. Because when men have very durable friendships, as the two of you do, mm -hmm. they make it weird by being like, you guys are so cute. <laughs> and then you're just being natural because you were so genuinely excited to see each other. <laughs> but like, Almost like Fox and the Hound excited. Like, but also... each other's tails, like but, pushing each other. Yeah. But then I ruined it. No, you didn't because we're so like, we're, we're open with our like uh, relationship and sexualities. And I've never kissed a man more in my life than this guy here. That you, you didn't make it weird. <laughs> it wasn't weird. I was just kind of like, yeah, I know. We are cute. <laughs> <laughs> Sit in his lap. Um... Again? Okay, I might be weird, but I'm not that weird. <laughs> There's only a whole big. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> you have to understand that he's done that before to me, for me to know why I hate that. <laughs> he's, no, here's the thing. People might not know this: is that David So is very tickled <laughs> person. <laughs> Do you know what actually one of my favorite porns to watch is? Is when it's oh, um boy. no, it's the person auditioning. And then the person behind the camera is like telling them what to do. Oh, dude, I love that. So that's what this kind of feels like, like right now. Yeah, yeah. Like, sit in his lap. There's that one, what's, like, what's the big deal? White couch. Like, how old are you? Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's too many categories in porn. It's so exhausting. I watch right. them all. <laughs> Stroke his thigh. You can get a little higher. He doesn't describe <laughs> I watch them all. All right, guys. Well, um, so, uh, what are you guys here to do? Oh, this is your, <laughs> is this your first time? or? 
We actually have been recording for two minutes now, so you're infringing on the podcast time. Okay. All right. Well, okay. All right, guys. <laughs> so me and David just got done filming, and we were like, yo, let's get some motherfucking French food. Some fucking French to sacre bleu. So we're out here at a... Uh, Petit Trois, and this burger is supposed to be one of the most popping burgers in the game right here. They saying it's the best burger in LA. Wow, wow, we wow, wow, wow. I don't know what they sprayed on this fries. These fries are fire. Crazy. We need to get some uh, mayonnaise for these fries. So here's the thing. I'm I'm off cheese. Uh, I'm trying to lay off cheese and stuff, but today's a special occasion, you know. Blue. What do you think of the hamburger? Oh. That's fine. That is very fine. It's magnifique. Oh my God. Très magnifique. Celine Dion. <laughs> Yo, so real quick, just a little update on my week without Chia and Veda. You know, um, like I'm rested, but I'm tired too. Like, because I'm trying to fill the whole week with like a lot of work and a lot of like, you know, podcasts and a lot of like shooting shit. And uh, so I'm sleepy, I'm tired, but um, it's been productive, not as productive as I'd like it to be. Cause sometimes, you know, in my head, I was like, all right, man, after I go shoot this shit all day, I'm gonna come home and write some music. I'm gonna write this script and I get home. And I just want to lay up on the couch because it's like the first time that I can get home and I don't have to do anything, you know, and not gonna lie, bro. It's a lot of clothes all over the place. Um, that's not too crazy. But look, I've been post-mating all week. I haven't run this dishwasher in like probably all week, bro. Cause it's like, for what? There's no, there's no, <laughs> there's no dishes. I'm not doing any dishes, you know? But I will be joining them in Canada soon. So, you know, I should probably get the house together. Probably start doing some of this laundry. This laundry's kind of piling up. As you can see, the bedroom is getting a little crazy. You know, when it's just me by myself, it's like, I don't be making the bed. Chia makes the bed every day, usually. And then tomorrow, I got one more day at work, and then I got to do some shit with MTV at the TV and Movie Awards on Sunday. And then I finally get to go fly and see my babies in Canada. And we could be reunited. And it feels so good. <laughs> Lugs. What? Why should they what? watch this week's podcast? Ah, because we actually go topless. Rosa Costa, why should they watch this week's episode of the podcast? Because you're going to get the first view of my butthole. <laughs> yeah. It's like very, very light because I just bleached it. Roll the coach's butthole on this week's episode of the No Chaser Podcast. Oh Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Where are my friends? <laughs> so it's my last day without the baby and my baby. I'm actually at a hotel in Santa Monica right now. Um, oh, look at the beautiful view. Wow. I mean, wow. <laughs> but uh, it's a beautiful day. Today is the MTV TV and Movie Awards. They got me and Darren doing some red carpet stuff. Um, so we're just in this hotel getting ready. There's the hair and makeup lady stuff. And uh, so check this out, right? So the stylist, me and the stylist decided on this like little Gucci outfit um, I'm wearing. And we were like, yo, she was like, she was like, we could do Gucci shoes or we could, you know, keep it like J's or Nike's. And I was like, girl, give me the fresh Air Forces. And she was like, what do you want to do under the jacket? I was like, if we're doing fresh Air Forces, give me the fresh white tee. And I was like, yo, make sure it's a pro club. OK, um, she got me the pro fives, which is, you know, it, it was like. Back in high school, it was either like everyone was rocking pro clubs and then the people started making the pro five. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I can do the pro fives. I requested pro clubs, but pro fives is, is, is straight too. So uh, yeah, man, should be good, should be good. So now we just getting my hair done, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make sure this thing stays all day. All day, every day. All day, every day. Make sure you can't see these little grays that are popping up. 
but it's all good. Isn't that right, Heather? Oh my God, this, no. this is Heather, she works for MTV. Stop. Um. <laughs> this is not funny. Oh my God, it's lit. Oh my God, oh, oh, oh my God, it's lit. Oh wow, 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 wow. Wow. smoke, man. Wow, wow. What up, Twitter, it's Tim. And Darren. We're here today to see who wins best musical moment mm. presented by Sonic. Who's gonna take home the golden popcorn? You have to tune in to find out, but first, we heard that you had a few questions for us, so let's get into it, Tim. Let's get into let's it. Let's get into it. Rena De La Ghetto, hey, shout out to Rena. Okay. She asked if you directed or co-wrote your favorite show slash movie what details would you change in it to make it better or different? Mm, Lion King, and I would let Simba live. He does live. Oh, the daddy. Mufasa. Mufasa. Yeah, I let him live. The I let daddy. Him. I'm sorry. Uh, I would probably take, you know, one of my favorite movies, uh -huh. like Back to the Future, uh -huh. and just, I'd make Marty Asian. That's it. Representation. A little representation. That's it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna make Doc Asian, too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gang, we out here. Yes. We out yes. here. Yes. We out here. Yeah. Wow, we out here. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow, we killed that. We killed that. Oh, and the oh, commercial. Oh, oh, and the commercial oh. right after that. Back wow, back. we popping. That's bopping. us right there, y'all. Y'all see that? Yeah. 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 All right, y'all. So after a week of being without the baby and the wifey, and working and grinding i finally get to go see my family <laughs> i'm not gonna lie man i miss them i miss them a lot i've probably said it a million times i'm ready to hop on these flights to a good old regina saskatchewan and see my babies ah uh, finally <sighs> and uh oh but let me tell you uh, being able to fly with just a backpack again and get there uh, literally less than an hour before the flight is uh, so refreshing. None of this baby carriage diaper bag uh, uh, stroller car seat bullshit. <laughs> I miss her. The royal princess is here, your highness. <laughs> 